HP lock rings are installed in the bells at the factory. However, should a ring be damaged and need to be replaced, the following steps show how to install the replacement ring. Prior to installing the HP lock ring, inspect and remove any dirt, excess asphalt coating, or other material of the HP lock bell that can prevent the gasket and ring from being properly installed. The square protrusion on the gasket is the heel which fits into the heel retainer groove. The heel portion holds the gasket in place as the spigot is inserted. The round O-ring section of the gasket is the bulb and does the sealing. Loop and work the gasket into the heel retainer groove and space the loops around the joint evenly. Pull out the loop about 3 to 4 inches high to adjust the gasket. Once the loops are pulled and evenly spaced, push the loop gasket into the bell. A rule of thumb to use for the number of loops is, the first digit of the pipe size is the number of loops needed. When installing tightened joint pipe in sub-freezing weather, the gaskets, prior to their use, must be kept at a temperature of at least 40 degrees Fahrenheit by suitable means, such as storing in a heated area. After the gasket is installed, check to ensure the gasket is flush and does not set above the throat and apply a thin film of tightened joint lubricant. In hot, dry weather conditions, the lubricant can dry out. Especially when applied to hot pipe, it will be necessary to add a small amount of water to hydrate the lubricant. Caution: The use of spray-on lubricant is not recommended. Experience has determined that spray-on lubricant may not be sufficient to allow joint assembly without gasket displacement. Position the pipe so that the slot in the bell is in a 10 to 2 o'clock location. This will help with bolt ring handle access, especially in larger pipe sizes. Keep hands and fingers away from pinch points while handling the HPL ring. Start by inserting a rod or bar up and between the ring handles and rotate the bar clockwise to slide the left handle over the right handle. Then, place the folded ring with the bar in place into the ring groove and rotate the bar counterclockwise to unfold the ring handles. Inspect the ring around the circumference to ensure it is in the groove. Pry the handles apart and slide the right ring handle forward enough to insert the stainless steel bolt through the hole and screw on the square nut. The end of the bolt is machined smooth and sets in the blind hole. Position the ring handles in the middle of the bell slot. Use a wrench to hold the square nut and rotate the bolt clockwise to spread the ring. Do not over tighten the bolt. Once the ring is flush with the lug mouth, stop tightening. The ring next to the handles may be slightly below the lug mouth. This is normal and will not interfere with the installation. Once the ring is spread in the bell, it should be flush with the lug mouth or no more than 1 16th of an inch above the lug mouth groove. The weld bead must be able to pass through this section of the bell without interfering or hitting the ring. Lubricate the gasket and spigot end up to the weld bead of the mating pipe with tightened joint lubricant. Insert the spigot end into the bell. Hold the nut between the ring handles and rotate the bolt counterclockwise and remove it. Keep the nut as it will be used to secure the ring in the final step. The ring will collapse onto the pipe. Grasp the ring handle with one hand while pushing the other ring handle ear away from you. If the ring slides back and forth in the slot cavity easily and a visual check of the ring around its full circumference ensures the ring is in contact with the pipe and not setting on top of the weld bead, the ring is in its correct position. If the ring will not slide back and forth, push and realign the spigot so the pipe is not deflected. Slide the ring handles to center them in the bell slot. Insert the bolt through the second set of through holes in the ring handles and install the nut. Snug the nut with only enough torque to make sure the ring stays in contact with the pipe. Pull back on the inserted pipe to extend the joint and remove the slack. Do not use excessive force. The spigot end should slide easily under the HP lock ring to allow engagement to the weld bead. Tighten the bolt nut to 15 to 20 foot-pounds of torque. There will be a gap between the ring handles. The width of the gap is variable depending on pipe dimensions. Deflect the joint as desired, not to exceed half a degree.